This is the Washington Times front page for Thursday, November 2nd, 2023. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. House Speaker Mike Johnson told Republican senators behind closed doors that he supports more funding for Ukraine if it's connected with more robust U.S. border security and said aid for Israel should be separate. Ramsey Touchberry and Alex Miller report Johnson, according to senators in the room, emphasized the challenges with navigating divisions in his conference and doubled down on his position that a piecemeal strategy to President Biden's requested Israel and Ukraine funding is the only way the House can pass legislation. Republican senators said Johnson reassured them, including those who oppose his tactic on Ukraine funding, that he is successfully navigating the obstacles within his conference. Colleges nationwide have received complaints that they've misled applicants financially as the Biden administration fights to expand regulations for federal student loan forgiveness. Sean Salai reports the Department of Education has sent thousands of notices to nearly every college and university over the past three months to clear a massive backlog in federal claims to cancel loan debts that were filed from 2016 through 2022. The Trump administration ignored complaints about the inability of borrowers to repay loans. The DOE said this week that it would find Grand Canyon University in Arizona a record $37.7 million and encourage more than 7,500 former students to file federal claims to cancel their loan debts. It said the for-profit school falsely advertised the cost and coursework required to complete some doctoral degrees. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley are trading China-laced barbs in their battle to become the clear alternative to former President Trump in the 2024 Republican presidential race. Seth McLaughlin reports DeSantis and his allies have turned their fire against Haley as they're concerned his bid is losing steam. Haley World is firing back, saying DeSantis is getting so desperate that her rival has resorted to lies. China looms as a top foreign policy issue as it competes with the U.S. for global military and economic superiority. Trump's aggressive stance on the trade imbalance and China's theft of American intellectual property have elevated the competition to the forefront for Republican voters. The House Oversight and Accountability Committee says it has found a $40,000 check to President Biden that they say was part of a payoff from a deal with a Chinese energy company. Susan Fericcio reports committee members say the check labeled loan repayment was paid from the personal account of the president's brother and sister-in-law and dated September 3rd, 2017. Committee members say the payment came from a joint venture between the Biden family and the now defunct Chinese energy company CEFC. And finally, the South Korean National Intelligence Service says North Korea has delivered approximately 1 million artillery shells to Russia to aid in its war against neighboring Ukraine. Andrew Salmon reports the missile shipments are the latest signs of an emerging axis between North Korea and Russia, fueled by a string of high-level contacts. The warming military relationship between Kim Jong-un's North Korea and Russia under President Vladimir Putin has unnerved officials in the U.S. and South Korea. Find all of today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app and find us wherever you get your podcasts. Just search Washington Times in any major podcast app. You can also find us on social media at Watch Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo.